ladies, <laughs> let this be, let this be an example of what it. He ignored me. He ladies, ignored me. let this be an example of what happens when you don't forgive <laughs> your father. You eat an entire brick of cheese and, like, this is great. and melt it onto bread. Yeah, I don't think it has anything. Yeah, it to has do nothing to do. It's so good. It's time to hack. The Movies! Today, we're talking about tapes with Tony and Crystal and Johanna. Talking about tapes. Hello. Hey, hey. Oh, that's a great costume. Hey, Delia. You look just like Delia. I, uh... Yeah, what's this? You know... Are you a robber? Are you a I, sailor? Are you... I, I wanted to be... Adam's family again? I wanted I to it? Yeah, I wanted to be Beetlejuice, and I... I didn't have time to get an outfit, so I wore the Pugsley outfit, but like, I'll put the sleeves up. All right. And I'm like, kind of Beetlejuice. It I mean, works. Beetlejuice. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, works. Yeah. I don't have to go all out no, for this think, or no, anything. No. I don't think so. Where's Johanna? Uh, where's Johanna? 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 It's showtime. That's a <laughs> that's a great costume. Yes. Like a real tie. You know, like yes. A yeah. Yeah. You yeah, went all I just don't out. Have, just don't have the green hair, but it's, it's all fine. right. I'm take some of the moss from her. <sighs> just pulling your hair. Yeah. Yes, girl. Yeah, that's great. That's really great, you Joanna. It's a great. Awesome. <laughs> it's a great costume. I really like it. It's you guys look so good in your in your costumes. I'm also Beetlejuice. It is funny when you rewatch this. He doesn't wear that striped suit for long. No. He's no. only in it very, very little, and it's like the most memorable thing. It is. Very so, ironic. yes, today we're talking about Beetlejuice. Yes! Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice from Beetlejuice. 1988. Yes. Probably, as far as I can, I'm concerned, still the most original Tim Burton movie ever made. It's one of my favorite. You think about movies. Tim Burton's career. Oh. After well, even like before this. Okay. Pee Wee TV show adaptation into a movie. Batman. Well, Pee Wee is the big reason why this got happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happened. But I'm talking about like, like Batman comic book adaptation, Ed yeah. Wood biopic. Like, oh, I get what a you're lot saying. of what yeah. Tim Burton does is like an adaptation, adaptation, retelling, retelling. Edward Scissorhands. That wasn't an that adaptation. I mean, you could argue it's a little Beauty and the Beast, but no, that one was a little organic. Yeah, Everything's that one's a little fucking original. Beauty and the Beast. If you think this about is it. like the most. I love Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. This is the most original fucking thing Tim Burton's ever done, and it's great. I love I this it, yeah. film. I don't remember the first time I saw it. I watched it a lot as a young kid. Same. Yeah. 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 I, I it, this came out literally a year before we were born. Yeah. So yeah. they were playing it on TV. Because yeah. it, it came out before we were born, and it was a huge fucking movie. Yeah. So they would play it on TV all, all the time, and I would watch it. I don't even know if I actually... Saw the movie in full till years later, but like I would always just put it on. I'm like, oh, good, Beetlejuice. Like I recognize the actors and stuff. Uh, I could not find it, but in kindergarten or preschool, I was Beetlejuice for like a Halloween thing oh. we had, <laughs> and I actually did have the costume. Huh. I remember that. I, I mean, like, it's my not like it would still me... fit. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're, ta you're taller. A kindergarten, you're so tiny. Whoa. <laughs> you really think you're gonna fit in a toddler outfit? So Come my on, parents Tony. even gave me like <laughs> little rubber snakes and bugs for me to hold at the oh, Halloween party and stuff. That's adorable. So yeah, I was super into this film, super into the cartoon which you have over there. Oh, yes, this is my Obsessed. cartoon. It is so I remember because it came out way before I was born, mm. and it stopped I think around when I was maybe one or two on TV, maybe ish. Yeah. It just, I remember it being on though, on yeah. TV at some point, just, I guess just reruns. Did they play on like Nickelodeon or something? I they remember play, it was on, on some a, channel. It was on ABC, yeah. but I think they then put it on like Fox Kids. Yeah. I do, uh, I do think it's really funny. This movie that's clearly not for kids. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. But it's, isn't then it, they made that. Yeah. <laughs> but well, it's PG, isn't it? Yeah. But it's PG. They got away with a lot. Wait. This is. Yeah. PG, but they get an F bomb in it. They get this is one of the only PG movies that has an F bomb. Uh, one I mean, of the only. Like, well, we've get talked away about how the uh, yeah, we've talked about how the I think they're just the MPA now, but uh, the MPA 
they change their rules they, all yeah. the time, which is why I hate the rating system. It doesn't make any sense. There's no point of it. It's you literally have people talking about suicide. Yeah, showing multiple their times, and then they laugh. Well, that's the whole. The, everybody, nice, juice is just, nice uh, uh, model. <laughs> <laughs> like, everyone that works at the the uh, area, they all committed suicide. Yeah, oh no, if I you know. Look at that. Each one of them, because it's the civil that's servant. That's um, yeah. his face uh, mentions it. Yeah, those they're all suicides. suicides. They become civil servants. The, in the yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but this is such a good movie. It's yeah. so good, and I just will always remember Lydia in the um, red dress. The not the just the red dress, but in the, the cartoon. Black. No, oh, the cartoon. Yeah, the, yeah. For some reason, I always remembered watching that on TV or at some point. Yeah. That always stuck to me. The only thing I that bothered that. me about the cartoon, and this is like, I was young. I didn't realize there was supposed to be a disconnect. It was weird to me that Lydia was friends with Beetlejuice. Yeah. And the, the Maitlands aren't in the cartoon, are they? I don't think so. Yeah, Alec Baldwin's character and whatnot. They're like not in it. I don't remember. So that always bothered me. Um, but no, I did love the cartoon. As confused as I was, I also got confused. It was with, also a little creepy. Also, he's like, like twelve in it. Yeah, I also got confused by uh, Batman the Animated Series. <gasps> like, I, I was like, wait, how's the Joker still alive? Because I thought it was a continuation. Uh, <laughs> like, that is seriously the. I think yeah. that is probably one of the best cartoons ever made. Speaking of which, animated series. Um, this is like when I was a young kid. This is when I first like grasped the concept of acting. And actors doing different roles. Cause I was also watching Batman a shit ton. Gotcha. Michael Keaton. And I remember like my dad like telling me, like, oh yeah, that's Batman. I'm like, wait, what? And like I was like, oh, the same person can play like two completely different fucking parts. I got one. What? Uh, the first time I really grasped that, like truly grasped that, is Tim Curry as <laughs> Wild Thornberries, Clown It, or uh, Pennywise. Mm -hmm. And Rocky Horror Frankfurter. Yeah. Being able to grasp that those were the three people, because I watched Wild Thornberries growing up, hearing that voice later while watching it. Actually, I probably, yeah, and then also Rocky Horror, probably around the same time. Mm. I I was in middle school and I'm just like, I well, can never You know be what? Of I've it. never just connected that because like I've seen it even like He's in Ferngully. So many things. Yeah. He's that like the the dude with the really like hot song, and I'm like, yeah. why am I attracted to this cloud of smoke? And you were attracted to the <laughs> you were attracted to the CGI organ in the Beauty and the Beast interquel. He was literally the best part of that movie. Yeah. That movie, it's an intro. Curry, just in general. Because it's like, it's like, it's like oh, every it, character wait, wait. he's ever played. I hate that Beauty and the Beast movie because it's like, this is what happened during the Christmas of that movie. I'm like, wow, yeah. they never mentioned fighting the giant organ. No, <laughs> that was a good, that is a good one. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I think we all have fond memories of this. Yes. We love Michael. We love the entire, well, not the entire cast. Not the entire cast. We do not love no, the entire no, cast. No, no we uh, I was watching this. Again. We love their acting. Uh <laughs> I was watching this with Ian last night, whatever. Uh, Ian never watched this all the way through in one sitting. And I'm like, what the what? hell is wrong Why? with you? I am I want a divorce. Uh, <laughs> You're not even married yet. I know, but I already want a divorce. Uh I would have backed my well, no, I would have backed his back and thrown them out by now. Maybe it was like me. Maybe they just played it on TV and he never caught it from so, the beginning. Yeah. But Doesn't like he see, he, he knows the movie. He knows how it goes and everything. Like I didn't never... catch it from the beginning. I'd seen the movie like fifteen times, and I never caught it from the beginning until my grandfather ran it for me one, the one day, and I was able to actually watch it all the way through. So but yeah, good. Uh, when we were so watching good. this, we were just like, oh. Yep, okay. we'll get I to him. I actually can't stand that actor anyway, and all the parts that he's ever played. Huh. Well, we'll get I, to him. He's oh yeah okay. <laughs> we'll get to him. I just never um, liked him. He's always so yeah. Let's. Me out. Let's talk about this wonderful film. Uh, it starts off right away with Deo. Like, there's just not even the opening credits. Like, the fucking, the Geffen's company logo. Just Deo. I'm like, wow, we're really just starting right off the bat with it. Me too. Like, what Next the hell is that music? Them. Is it like, re not reggae or... Is it, whatever that music is, they have like the weirdest taste of music. <laughs> they play that a lot when they're in the ad before they die. They play yeah. all that music a lot. It's like island dancey music. Apparently, yeah. Alec Baldwin's character is super into it. Uh, but we get a nice sweeping shot of the town uh, yeah. with Danny Elfman's score. This mm. is 
Mm-hmm. This is before Dude. his score. Like, this is before, like... It's so good. I think we've music. all seen the Funny or Die video where it's, like, every Tim Burton movie, how it gets made, and it's, like, a guy pretending to be Tim Burton. He's like, Danny Elfman, what's the score? And Danny Elfman's like, uh, diddly, 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 diddly. Oh. <laughs> but this was early on, yeah. so it wasn't annoying yet. Uh, so yeah, good, The though. music, like, really pumps you up. <laughs> uh, I love the aerial shots of the town. Uh, but th- now that I'm older, I can tell when it transitions to the yeah. actual model. It's pretty, pretty obvious. And we get a nice big spider. But yeah, it really sets the. Sorry. <laughs> My knee started hurting. Really sets the mood for the movie, the music. It's like, hey, there's going to be wacky and scary, but also kind of fun. Um, we get to see Alec Baldwin and oh my God. What time is it? Oh my God. I was supposed to call Alec Baldwin for this video, but I forgot to, I guess I'll see if he left us a message. Okay guys, he did leave us a voicemail. I'm going to play it. Okay. I hope Alec Baldwin's not mad at us. Hey, I want to tell you something. Okay. And I want to leave a message for you right now. Cause again, it's, 30 here in New York on a Wednesday, and once again, I've made an ass of myself. Oh no! Trying to get to a phone to call you at a specific time. When the time comes for me to make the phone call, I stop whatever I'm doing and I go and I make that phone call. Oh now, man, I'm sorry. New York, and if you don't pick up the phone at 10 o'clock at night and you don't even have that goddamn phone turned on, I want you to know something, okay? Uh, I'm tired of playing this game with you. I, I really screwed I up, guys. With you to tell you, you have insulted me for the last time. The last time? When did I insult him the first time? Me. You don't have the brains what? or the decency as a human being. I don't give a damn that you're 12 years old or 11 years old or that you're a child or that your mother is a thoughtless pain in the ass who doesn't care about what you do as far as I'm concerned. Guys, I think Alec Baldwin left a... Left a voicemail for someone else on our line. <laughs> Oops. Is that real? Yeah, he left us a vo- I was supposed to call him and ask him about Beetlejuice, and I totally forgot. Maybe he's mad because he found out that I was making fun of him for being related to Justin Bieber now. Probably. Anyway, Alec Baldwin, who likes to leave angry voicemails. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. You've never heard that before? No. <laughs> um, Did he really? Like, yeah, that's, that's one, real. That's real. Yeah. To a 12-year-old. Yeah. At the time, yeah. Anyway, Alec Baldwin's there. He plays Adam, and his wife is Gina Davis. Barb. Babe. Yes. We were talking yes. in another video about the Fox Exorcist series. Gina Davis is Reagan in it. Is she really? Well, well, spoiler, you're not supposed to know she's Reagan until like a few episodes in. But yeah, okay. she's Reagan. Uh, yeah, she's they are a like, lot of stuff. they are like the happiest couple in the world. They got the biggest house in town for some reason. That house is huge. It's huge. It's huge. huge. It's apparently too big to, for them because they have like an asshole realtor. What, what was her name? I forgot. Uh, yeah. uh... They have a fucking really mean realtor who's just like, this house is too big. I know a family in New York that wants to buy it. And uh, you should you should just move out. And they're it, like, OK, it's too small for just two, two people. people. It really needs a family. And oh, I, yeah. Jane, Jane Butterfield. Is that yes, it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I think they might imply that she Gina Davis kids. can't have kids. She can't because they, they never men- outright say it. No, but they say it again later in it. Um, mm. I think they mention it almost like twice. Yeah. Adam does say like, hey, we could always try again. So. Yeah. Yeah. But like the, the realtor is like really mean. It's like they're currently living there. But they're like, also yeah. apparently what they're fra- Because she says later in it that she furnished the entire house. Yeah. Is she decorated so I think she it? sold him the house. But now she definitely some- sold the house. But- yeah. But uh, yeah, they're planning on spending a vacation at home. Sounds pretty nice, to be honest. I love staycations. Yeah. Love I staycations. I stopped doing family vacations like over a decade ago. And it's just you did well, when I vacations? was vacationing, I haven't vacationed in a very long time. I would just do staycations. I go to Disney World like every other week. Yeah, I fucking know. I know. I'm aware. I'm an annual pass holder. <sighs> anyway. I have a problem. Um, it's a good problem. So yeah, they are. Look, I'm not having children. My money got me somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, they're ready to have a off. great vacation, uh, but they have to go to the hardware store because he makes like a model town, like miniature mm-hmm. town. And I always like that aspect because uh, my babysitter growing up, her husband, the downstairs of his house, 
was just a model town and train thing. Yeah. He was like real into trains. Not like a weird way. It's just he was into trains when he was a kid. And then yeah. he grew up and he continued the hobby. So the whole downstairs was like trains just everywhere. Yeah. Now it's like, Le uh, was it the Lego movie too? Yeah. They have it. Yeah. And I'm just like, well, okay. it's like Beetlejuice. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, so he has to run in, get some like paintbrushes and stuff. And he owns the store. He owns the store, yeah. I love the old guy that's just, he just, just ignores. He's a barber. <laughs> he just starts talking and he just like goes in the store, does this thing, comes back out. The dude doesn't even stop. He's just still going on with the store. I no. felt bad. I'd be like, oh, I'll sit there and listen to your story. What I want to know is. to it every day though. What, you know, what I want to know is the old He's guy. Old. He's probably like senile and stuff. The old guy, yeah. is that his goddamn dog? <gasps> Because oh, there's just I a think dog. That is his dog. There's just a dog wandering around town. I always thought it was a stray. Because that's you. Because you see him twice. You see him in the beginning, and yeah. the car stops for it and goes across the street. It's someone's dog. Yeah, he runs back. They get in the car, and of course the dog is right in front of the bridge, and they fucking crash on the Winter River Bridge. Uh, I don't know how this crash happens, but somehow the dog ends up on one of the pieces of wood. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're like please don't go and he just jumps off and they just fucking die I don't um, know if that crash would wrap I wonder if it would actually kill you that would not kill you so. like that no well, no, they would have drowned if they can't get out of the car if they couldn't get out but yeah. it looks like they just died right away from the way it cut yeah. well I don't think they because like the car wasn't even submerged yet no it doesn't I don't even think that that looked like a really well, shallow yeah because it wanted to kind of throw you off so the next scene you're like are they alive or dead if you would have saw them going like Whoa! You'd be like, oh, they're and, dead. Yeah, I understand the point of it, but at the same point, I'm like, mm, I don't think they'll kill you. I knew they were dead I don't right think away. That. I'm like, I'm not an idiot like you. <laughs> uh. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so they uh, they appear at their house. Yeah, for so, a peachy movie, that's not, that's all right. Yeah. Huh? So like, I keep thinking in this entire thing now, I'm like, for well, this PG is still movie, only like, this is only like how many years after they invented PG-13. So there's probably like they were figuring out like what's okay with mm -hmm. which one. Um, I like how they appeared soaked too. That's yeah. kind of like the misdirect. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, oh, maybe they got out. Uh, they were actually, if you look later on in the scene, everyone's the same way that they died. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they were supposed to stay wet. But Tim Burton, this is what I read that they, uh, Tim Burton didn't want them to feel uncomfortable through the entire movie. So he just kind of threw that that aspect of it out the window so they can yeah. stay dry. It is a little weird that everyone else has like a thing. It's the same way, yeah. yeah. But he decided to make them comfortable. He's not going to keep them wet the entire, because that's also a pain in the ass unless you shellacked it or something like that. But yeah. at the same point, that would be a whole nother element. No, I agree. That's that's a little rough. Um, yeah, so they're walking around their house and they're confused with how they got there. Yep. What's going on? And then Adam walks outside and now he's on another planet. <gasps> yeah, I Saturn. love this world. Saturn. Why Saturn? I don't know, but it's Saturn. <laughs> They're very into space into this. There's like they grasp little things, including yeah. the name Beetlejuice. Mm. Oh, so. yeah, because that's the name of. Um, it's on as a star on um, Orion's the constellation of Orion. It's actually the 10th because I actually love outer space. It's the 10th brightest star that okay. we can see. And it's like a reddish star. It's on on the constellation of Orion. Right, right, right. And that's named Beetlejuice. And it's not on Orion's belt because that's not where the Orion's galaxy belt. is. Yes, in Men in from Black. Men in Black. Correct. Uh, we should review but, Men in Black one day. We never have. Yeah, we have it. I don't remember. I don't remember it. review. Do you no. remember a Men in Black review? No, I, don't, I, don't I would remember. love to be a part of that. We should review <laughs> yeah. Men in Black. We, should, we really yeah, should. I think we really so. should. Anyway, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so he, that's uh, also Beetlejuice means. Uh, at least the way that it's spelled. There's a whole thing that I want to get into is the spelling. The spelling. Is I a little, yeah. really want to get into the spelling of it. Yes. So that's, oh, there's three different spellings of Beetlejuice. It is actually really funny. It's like, <laughs> Beetlejuice. But so like, that's, Beetlejuice Tatum. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So that Beetle, can we get into the spelling now? Yeah, let's get into the spelling. Okay, I want to get into the spelling because I'm fascinated with this because Because I always thought ones. it is Beetlejuice. But I thought like he's not allowed to say his own name or write it, so he wrote it wrong. That's that's one of the theories. They never actually say yeah. why, but there's three different spellings. Okay. You have Beetlejuice all in one word, so it's Beetlejuice. You have the Beetlejuice spelling of um, Beetlegeist. as the star, Beetlegeist. Yeah. And then if you look on the credit, or not, I don't know if it's in the credits, I wanted to look at this and I forgot, but in the beginning, and it says Beetlejuice, um, Michael Keaton, in the very beginning, 
Beetlejuice is two words. Oh. So there's, but on IMDb, it's spelled Beetlejuice that way. Yeah. It's very confusing, but that Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice actually means, oh, I wrote this down because I wasn't, I knew I was going to forget it. We're learning um, so much about Beetlejuice. Yeah, I went to, once again, went to a rabbit hole of the star <laughs> Beetlejuice, or of the star Beetlejuice because I was fascinated by this. Um, because I already knew some stuff, but I was like, whoa. So they're thinking in a hundred thousand years is actually going to be a supernova explosion of it because okay. it doesn't have that much time left. And it's the uh, Arabic, uh, the, uh, how do you say, um, Arabic? Arabic? Arabic is the word I was looking at. I speak my own language. <laughs> the Arabic word for um, the giant's shoulder, which is actually, no, because it's actually the right shoulder of uh, okay. um, Orion. Orion. Yeah. So that's what Beetlejuice means. And it's so interesting that they picked that. So he has an word. Arabic name. I wouldn't peg him for being. Arabic. No. 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 He has an Arabic name. Well, thank you for that. I think maybe they spelled it this way just because this is easier to read. Well, too. Because they make a joke in the movie that characters can't read his name right. They keep yeah. saying Geis. So I think for just the purpose of that, they're like, let's actually spell it juice so people get it. Yeah. So actually... Tim Burton was actually playing around with the because they were looking at um, different titles for the movie. I, I saw the one title he wanted. Scare Sheetless? I thought that was so funny because he likes to play on words. Yeah. He wanted to be I called Scare Sheetless. Pants. They're pinching my hips so hard. <laughs> I knew I that they were going to hurt when you sat it down. Hurts so bad. I can't wear these. I can't wear my pants. <laughs> it hurts so bad. Oh my bad. God. Drana, wait till you're out of the room. Stop taking your pants off. I don't mind it. What if customers I come in? It's an extra show. We can make extra money. Can we just turn this into like a strip club? What is, we will pimp you out. Fucking There's man. fetish for everything. What a seamless cut. Back you to know the movie. You, didn't, you, you do realize you didn't actually have to wear the pants. You really can't see you wearing. He told me to wear them because he was like, oh, you have to walk in with the costume on. Yeah. I don't even think you could see my pants. You can't yet. see the pants. It's all your fault. She could have went, she could be pantless right now. You wouldn't so, even know. So Adam's outside. Saturn. We uh, we had our long space talk there. Uh, he gets pulled back in. Oh, Apparently no. he was gone for two hours. And in those two hours, Gina Davis has realized that they are ghosts. Uh, she found. She found the handbook for the recently deceased. It reads like oh, stereo no. instruction. Uh, and she did. I love the thing with the horse and the mirror. It's yeah. like, look, we have no reflection. <laughs> Uh, so they're like terrified about what happened. And then we get our first glimpse of Beetlejuice. We go all the way underground. Cute couple. Look nice and stupid too. And apparently the afterlife just has their own newspaper. Yeah. What was it called? Did anyone remember the name of the paper? I forgot to no. write it down. But I love that it's like. It has like an obituary, but it's like not an obituary. It's like, yeah, welcome it, these yeah. people. Yeah, like the obituaries that are welcome. But the front page, it's just like sandworm attack up 13%. So I guess a lot of ghosts are being sent to Saturn to get attacked by sandworms. Yeah. yeah. I don't understand. This is a really strange universe. Maybe but the movie's so wacky and weird. Unlike other universes like Hook. Uh, or Van Helsen. I don't question it. I'm like, ah, you know what? Yeah. It's wacky and fun. Hook wasn't fun. Um, You're not fun. <sighs> I agree. So later on, the Deets arrive. Uh, <laughs> played. The Deets are played uh, by Catherine O'Hara. Yeah. Who is uh, Delia. Delia. Winona Ryder, who is Lydia. Yes. Yes. Say her first name again. Winona. 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 <laughs> Wow. I've heard both. I've heard both. Winona, Winona and Winona. Winona. I feel like I usually say Winona, but that time I said why Nona. I don't know why. <laughs> you make fun of me. Winona Ryder. There you go. As Lydia. Mm -hmm. And a cuties fan as the dad. And that's all we're going to say about him. Don't look him up. Uh, they arrive. Anyone, he, has anyone actually liked that actor? Even with the characters that he plays? Yeah, before all that, I liked him. I liked him in this. I never. I. I have. Day off. I've, yeah. Always, yeah. I've, I. I hated him. I hated him. Off. I always felt creeped out by him. Well, I always well, felt. Well, creeped well out by I guess me. <laughs> but that was before all that. To be fair, he always plays some kind. Of, I loved him as Criswell in Ed Wood. Uh, I liked I him. I didn't. Like I don't. Something always turned me off on him. He I was, was like, a devil's advocate. That was a good one. Well, like I mean, him. we reviewed that movie. It's not that good, but. I still don't. 
he, oh, he's always freaked me out. I think you're just pretending. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, Catherine O'Hara was in a lot of like Tim Burton stuff in these like early times. She was Sally. She's Sally. Yeah, she was Sally. And, and also um, does, um, was it? It's Lock, Shock, and Barrel. She's one of those. Shock. Is it Shock? I'm pretty sure she's Shock. A little like Sally witch, and Shock. It's a little witch girl. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. I'm for a minute, sure I thought you meant like Mr. Santa Claus. For a minute, I thought you were like Lock, Stock, and Two Spoken Barrels, and I'm like, <laughs> and then, oh, and then I'm like, I don't remember her being in that. Did Tim Burton direct that? <laughs> and Pee Wee Herman was also one of the three of those. Uh, right, right, peoples. right. Mm-hmm. Um, and then of course Danny Elfman's then, like, um, I need to be a part of this too. <laughs> yeah. And what's his face was the mayor. Glenn Chaddix. Glenn was also Chaddix was this. the mayor. So the Deets arrive. Tim Burton really just has his like one yeah. set group. <laughs> I want to get into they, that group. So what is it? Charles is the dad. Yes. Yes. The yes. cuties fan yes. is Charles. He comes in. He loves the place. He. We find out he later. Really love it, but he's just like finally away from the city. They're, they drop hints that he must have had like a little incident. And he just wanted to get out into like the suburbs and get away. Like they never tell you what it is. Uh, so he's excited. He's like, oh, this place is great. And I, oh man, look at the sun and whatnot. He's real excited. And Delia is like this New York snobby, high society, modern, abstract artist. I wouldn't call that modern. It's definitely no, like gothic abs- bullshit. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, like- it's it's like abstract. Yeah, it's modern art. It's abstract and Say, no, everything was creepy and dark, dude. It wasn't yeah. modern. It wasn't modern. Not say, yeah. It's not modern. That's not modern art. Well, it's abstract. I'll go abstract. It's not modern. Okay, okay. okay. It's abstract art. Uh, she brings along her designer friend, who apparently has had multiple jobs, as we learn. Uh, Why did he, he come through the window again? Is it because he said it was bad luck, did he say? I don't know. He something was blocking. Or maybe he said blocking. Maybe he didn't say bad luck. He randomly came through the window, and I—I I don't think I've ever realized why he came through the window. And I was trying to pay attention last night. And I'm like, roll the clip. Ah, that's why. Uh, he is played by Glenn Shaddix, as you said, who was an actor that I met many years ago. Me and my good friend Anthony, we were at Chiller Theater. Ooh. And I remember we were walking in the tent, like you know, there were different celebrities and stuff. And then we look over. And I'm like. Oh my God, it's Otho. And he went, yes. And I'm like, oh my God. And I still have the picture of like yeah. me. Yeah. I still have the picture of like me and him like together. That's cool. <laughs> fucking on Does rental. he actually act like that in real life? Is that like. Well, did- act did. He's currently dead. Uh, did yeah. he act like that though? Was that more of like a well, character that he played or he was that more he didn't of a. act like Otho. I guess he just had a voice. Because I do know people that act like that. Yeah. But um, it was actually funny when. uh. They, when they did rental reviews for John Dunstan checks in, I wasn't okay. in that one. But uh, oh my god, Otho, I haven't seen that yeah. movie in forever. Yeah, Glenn Whoa. Shaddix is in it, and Justin was talking about it. Justin apparently feels a connection to Glenn Shaddix. <laughs> I put my picture of me and him in there, but then I went on Twitter. I'm like, here's a, my first picture I took with Justin Silverman. It's 14 year old Tony with Glenn Shaddix. <laughs> That's amazing. It's fucked up. It's pretty funny. Uh, it but yeah, funny. Glenn Shaddix died in 2010. Sadly, he had like a heart attack or fell out of his wheelchair and hit his head or something. It was pretty brutal. Oh, uh, I forget the exact details. I think that was it. So funny? he's real douchey and he comes in. And he's like, oh, we got to change everything. And mm-hmm. he's like spray painting like what they're going to color. <laughs> was it the one thing was mauve? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you you read my that mind. Yes. <laughs> and then they're not allowed to touch the uh, little den room. Okay. Um. All right, so there's a line in here that broke me this morning when I watched it. So I've watched this movie a lot. I haven't watched it all the way through in like a few years. Uh, And I remember all the big parts, but I forgot a lot of the little jokes. Mm -hmm. And I'm like still waking up. Nikki comes down uh, to watch the movie. She's waking up. Um, (laughs) Fucking the scene starts when she goes, roll the clip after it says, when she goes, Oh, look, an indoor outhouse. I fucking like lost it. I was like, blah, ha! I just, like, I wasn't ready for like how quick and fast that joke. It's like a, if you're not paying attention, you completely missed that yeah. joke. But the like, entire movie is like that. Like, it's I, so good. I remember like really hating her when I was younger, but as I'm older, I'm like, oh my God, no, she's, she's like, great. She's the best part of this movie yeah. now as an adult. Yeah. <laughs> she's so fucking hilarious. And I love when he begs her. He's like, please. Not this room. And then she's like, if you don't let me create myself, I will kill you. I take you with it. <laughs> she's so good. She's so good. The whole movie. But I love that that's the thing. He's like, all right, maybe you can do some remodeling, but let's leave this room. 
Um, and at the same time, you have, um, why am I forgetting? That Barbara and what is Adam? Yes, they are. Barbara and Adam are trying to scare them out of the house because they are ghosts, but they can't. Yeah, no but can they see can't them. see them. Yeah. Uh, I do love the thing where she like takes, takes her face I off and scares that. her, and they're like, "Oh my god!" They're like, "This." Cl- hopefully, the rest of the closet. How do they know how to do this right away? It's just yeah. like, "Yes, I can rip my face off, and everything will be okay." <laughs> I, was I love yeah. that they just grab Gina Davis and throw her into the side. <laughs> And they find their wedding outfits, which comes back later. Nice. <laughs> they are some pretty ugly wedding outfits. They're, yeah. they're like we see what they look like later. I'm like, Ooh. maybe they're just like kind of ancient. Of course, my mom's Jesus. wedding dress. My mom's wedding dress was pretty bad. Oh, she doesn't watch this show. Uh, <laughs> my mom had a sleek and hot. She also got married in Jamaica. My parents honeymooned in Jamaica. Mine too. Yeah. 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 I guess that's probably a Philly thing. Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah. My parents wanted nothing to do with the family, and they're like, fuck the family, and we'll... Uh, well, you know why? Because they never forgave their parents. Anyway, uh, and they passed that down. Well, good how, thing how, that how are, their parents are dead. How are the uh, forgive your parents crystal things going? <laughs> no, I know. I didn't, th- I didn't think it was going to take off, but there's a few people yeah, that just keep leaving. My man. It. Oops. Sometimes. doing it. Sometimes I start a joke and it takes on a life of its own and I can't control it. How you doing, Johanna? You have any <laughs> problematic opinions according to Twitter lately? So yeah, they're upset that they can't like get the deets out of the house. Um, mm-hmm. And they're like, all right, forget it. I'm leaving. And they both get attacked by the sandworm on Saturn. And then they jump back. Then they see um, Winona Ryder looking up. Uh, hold on. Lydia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the next day, the deets... I think it's the next day, just start remodeling the house. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, it's a, tearing down walls and stuff. They're, they're tearing yeah. down walls. They're setting, they're just making it look like a shit show. And I think is there's a, this part, there's cows all around, right? Cows? There's like cows like around the house during the scene. In, in the town, they show like cows that are all around. And I think it's. I don't remember the cows. If I remember right, there are cows in the scene just wandering around. And later in the movie, when the Deets have completely redecorated, the furniture is made out of cow skin. <laughs> I think it's implied that they killed the cows and made them into furniture. <laughs> I think. I think. I'll double check. I'll double check. I like the idea. Um, but yeah, so this is another thing where like I didn't get the joke as a kid, but now I think it's really funny. Lydia's taking pictures of like everything going on. She can see Barb and Adam, but then the realtor comes over to give her the skeleton key. And I love when she's just like, by the way, I decorated everything in that house. So if they need any advice, meanwhile, they're ripping all of her shit out. Because mm-hmm. at the dinner scene, she's like, yeah, it all goes. It, everything is going along yeah. with that, along with whatever, uh, along with what's ever in the attic. Uh, because the attic is locked and now yep. only Lydia has a way to open it. But she can't open it because they won't let her. Mm-hmm. And then finally we get to see Beetlejuice on a fucking TV. <laughs> and it's like a, it's like a local commercial thing. Wait, did we skip over the fly scene? No, the fly's not there yet. Okay. The help me? It's not there yeah, yet. Okay. It's not there yet. Um, but yeah, Beetlejuice is doing his little promo, like, hey, hire me. I'm the best bio exorcist in town. So, like, he's the guy that you hire to get rid of people. But they're still not, like, really sure what they're doing yet. What did you think of the commercial? <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down now. She a very, very dated, early, like, yeah. 90s. Yeah. Yeah. Like, or late 80s. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, or, like, selling cars type very, thing. Like, like, bye, bye, bye. Yeah. What was he wearing? Like, a cowboy hat or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's doing, like, a southern accent. <laughs> yeah. Um, but his name was three times on the sign. Say it once, say it twice, third time's the chart. <laughs> Uh, I think at that point it's abbreviated, right? Or like uh, they put a dash in between Beetle and Geiss for that one. Do they? I think it was just the word. I forget. I'll double check that. I don't know. Um, So they're at a loss of what to do. They can't see them. The house is being destroyed. They want them out. They go to the book and they are told to draw a door. And I can't count how many times I like tried to draw doors with chalk. And I thought it would work. You're not dead. Yeah, I figured that out later. (laughs) <laughs> you figured out that you're not dead later? I figured it out okay, later. Okay, I'm glad. <laughs> huh. 
Uh, But this scene is like awesome. This is also when Lydia is trying to get in. We're like, they open up the door and now they're in like the the nether realm. I don't, where are they exactly? Yeah, go with that. The afterworld. I don't know. Uh, But then they meet Miss Argentina. Uh, I think they, what is it? So they have to be on earth for 125 years. 100 and, was it 25? I think it's. It was a hundred and something before they can get almost like a health insurance type of thing or their benefits. Yeah. So is there no, because they mentioned the book, like there's no heaven or hell or like they haven't read anything about it. So is there no like peaceful afterlife? You're just a ghost forever or. I mean, there's also purgatory. Yeah, there is. Okay. Yeah. They never actually explain where they are and what happens after or before. I kind of like that mystery. Yeah, because like you're not mystery. you're not diving into religion at that point, yeah. and you can make anything you want up. It's just you're kind of here. But they do say about the souls uh, mm. later. Yes, through they're, the door, they're yeah. exercised souls where yeah. they're just now lost in this one room, and that's that's death for uh, what is it? It's death for death the dead. For the dead. It's, it's death like for if the you get dead. exercised, you're just in this void with all the other lost souls, and you can't do anything. I love all the other dead people in the waiting room. Who's your favorite? I don't even know. I, I mean, maybe the thing shrunken, shrunken head, head guy, guy was along favorite. with the witch doctor, and then you. The witch also- doctor's not in it yet, from what I remember. Rip? He's at the end. I know he's at the. Uh, yeah. oh, okay, maybe it's just at the end. Um, I like the magician's assistant. Oh yeah, she's magician's good. assistant's one of my favorites. I love. Uh, <laughs> I love the chicken bone guy. Like, how did he get oh, the yeah. chicken bone in there? <laughs> that was funny. Um, and I fucking love the cigarette guy. He's like, you want to smoke? He's like, no. He's like, yeah, I'm trying to cut down. Yeah. He's just like fucking charred. But I love the whole like, that's what happened when he dies. That's what happened. It, apparently you have different, different things happen depending on how you die. She's like, if I knew that what I knew now, I wouldn't have had my accident. And everyone laughs. Go ahead. Mention that they cut the, the wrist the wrong way. Yeah. So seeing as she was like a different color, I'm pretty sure she probably like sat in a bathtub and just bled out. So. Oh. Was she blue or green? She was green. Green. Okay. Poor Miss Argentina. There are so many people with my last name in Argentina. And there was a uh, TV show called El Capitan Peluso. And I always knew about it. There's even a song called Peluso Es Bueno from down there. Uh, A guy from Argentina finally let me know that Peluso down there means floppy hat. Like the hat. (laughs) Because El Capitan. Floppy hat. El Capitan Palooza wears a hat like Gilligan, like the Gilligan floppy hat. So, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm Tony floppy hat. Anyway. <laughs> and he yells at me for my yeah, hands. Right. I'm literally talking about science and Beetlejuice and where the name comes from, which I that thought was That was all being left in. But he talks about fucking Tony floppy hat. Really? I'm going to show you something. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're, that was a threat. I thought you were literally going to show me something about the movie. I'm like, oh, yeah, tell me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, oh, wait, no, that was a threat. Like, just still like, oh, yeah, yeah. that's a threat. So they finally go to meet Juno, their caseworker. I love her. Uh, but I love the fucking, the flat guy. The flat guy. <laughs> he has his own little slot. Uh, I How also, I, today? I also love the I dude. like the noise that it makes when he goes in the yeah, like, slot. Like, yeah. <laughs> I love the dude who's hanging, who hung himself, and he's just dropping papers off. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what, you're still fucking working, either yeah. you can walk or not. I love that one is just a skeleton. It's like, man, how did they kill themselves? That's pretty brutal. Acid? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they uh, go down, they go into Juno's office, or what they think is Juno's office, and it turns out it is their house months, three months in the future. Yeah. Yes. The Deets have finally remodeled everything, and Juno's upset that they're there. She's like, I was about to leave, you took too long. Uh, she's she is so goddamn fantastic. <laughs> this, Sylvia Sylvia Sydney. Yes, she's great. I this is another Fair. line that I forgot about. <laughs> she's like, was she in Mars Attacks? Yes, mm-hmm. okay. yes, yes, okay. yes. They brought up Congress. <laughs> oh my god, such a good um, movie too. Oh. I fucking this is another scene where I fucking died. Where she's like, things seem pretty quiet here. You should thank God you didn't die in Italy. Yes, <laughs> yes. I knew you were going to mention that when I saw it. I was like, ah, oh, he's going to mention it. So she's. Do you know e- Tony's Italian? I'm Italian. No, you're Irish. <laughs> oh. I'm both. I'm I both. did hear that you're uh, more Irish than Italian. No, I'm not. 
It's like equal. Is it equal? Yeah. My mom's oh. Irish, German, and English, and my dad is like 100% Italian. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, Italy was invaded by a lot of people, mm -hmm. so who knows what else is mixed in Tony's there. Tony's actually not uh, Italian at all, if we find out. <laughs> no, watch us, that's not even, they just move there, they're not actually Italian. Yeah. <laughs> I know someone that uh, says that all the time, like, um, she says she's from this one country, well, but it's just her family. Like Sicilian or either. something. <gasps> Could you imagine? Yeah. Is that not Italian? No, I'm collaborating. We're like right at the tip of the boot. What? That's where Calabria is. Because Italy is shaped like a boot. Calabria is like anyway. the tip of it. Anyway. Um, <sighs> so like, I love how everyone's just like, why don't you just read the goddamn book? Like everyone's like, yeah, read the book. <laughs> oh, they, like, they also forgot it. Yeah, they they forgot said it. it. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're like, to bring your book. And they're like, oh, we don't have it. Like, and, everybody's so, like, and everybody's just like, ooh. Ugh. I love how they're just allergic to reading the book. Like, Because like, they don't understand it. They try reading it and they just can't comprehend it. I think it's very, the way it's written and they're so they're dead. I mean, they're so overwhelmed. They're just like, I don't get it. I just think they're fucking boomers. Reminds me of like my parents when they just don't want to read the manual or instructions. Be like, I don't know how to hook it up. Can you hook it up? It's like, why don't you just read the, just read it. I do. I am that loser that reads the manual. I am that person. I read manuals too all the time and then I still end up screwing things up. But uh, mm. like my, my cabinets in the office, if you notice, it's like black background, black background, black background. Brown wooden no. background because I put it on, uh, on accident. <laughs> but I at least read the instructions. Um, and he still fucks up. Jesus <laughs> Christ. That's not a good thing, Tony. But yeah, so they suggest she'll be hire Beetlejuice. And she's just like, don't no. fucking say his name. He's bad news. He also, be my assistant. We also, yes. we also have to talk the entire time she's explaining everything. She is smoking a cigarette and is coming out of yeah. her throat. She, obviously, it. she slit her throat. Yeah. That uh, is all amazing. So yeah, Beetlejuice was her assistant, and he was like a little too harsh. Like, I guess he went around just killing people and just like fucking like, there's haunting and getting rid of people. And I think he might have just went a little oh, overboard. So he went into business for himself, yep. which apparently you do. I don't know what currency is in this universe, but... <laughs> Yeah, because he's like, oh, I'm looking for work. I'm like, what's the currency? I don't understand. Something to do. But yeah, she tells them that he's been hiding in their model. I think it might have been before this or after this is the scene with the fly. Poor fly. The fly lands on the model. <laughs> it is was it, was it the nougat bar? And he's like, hey, I got uh, a treat for you. Oh, it was Zagnut. Zagnut, that's yeah. it. Which we actually tried a few years ago. Justin <sighs> bought a couple Zagnut bars. We finally ate it. It's whatever. Really? But yeah, the poor fly gets eaten and the fly says, help me. Help me. Help me. Do you know what that's from? Me. Where is it from, Tony? The original fly. Because the original uh, fly, uh, like, it's just yeah. the head and the arm gets switched. Uh, and at the end of the movie, they find a fly that has the guy's head in the spider web going, help me. Help me. And that's how the original fly ends. Like, Fitz and Price is like, ah, kill it. It's pretty brutal. So that's a fun little reference. Um... I didn't realize that was a reference school. But yeah, so be, so Juno's like, you guys have to take care of this yourself. Just do your best to get rid of them. Charles is like trying to convince his boss to come to Winter Winter River, Winter's River, or Winter River. I don't know. I don't think is I said Winter's River? River. I don't know. He's trying to convince them to come to the town because they want to make yeah. it the next. Because they're in Connecticut. They want to take make the next big like New York vacation destination. Yeah. And they're like, I don't know. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere. And he's like, come on. You should come down here. But like his his boss, Max, is like not into it. Because I guess he was like, you made me a lot of money before your brain stopped work or whatever the hell he says. Uh, so that's like his thing. He thinks he could like just buy up the whole town and like completely change it. They're very money hungry. Very commercial. They are. Very. They are. Ugh. And then uh, how do the Maitlands decide to haunt them? What's their idea they come up with? Aww, sheets. <laughs> they cut the sheets, the little eye holes. It's actually, adorable. I actually have an idea for a tattoo, and it's basically um, like a Polaroid picture or whatever, and it's just them floating. <gasps> That's cool. <laughs> I think that'd be really cute. That'd Maybe be really put cute. some type of quote in there, too. Yeah. I do love that, like, uh, Charles sees them, and he assumes it's Lydia. But then they're, like, moaning, and Lydia thinks that their it's parents their having, having sex. Like, so what I like about uh, Delia is <gasps> she's super, you know, like high society, snobby and whatnot. She watches wrestling. She like goes, I don't know if she went to sleep and wrestling and came, came on, on, but I like to think that when she's in her bed by herself, she's just watching professional wrestling. It's just on the TV in the background. 
Uh, but they don't work on scaring her. No, because she Lydia spots them and takes all the pictures. That's when she realized they don't have no feet. No feet. No feet. And I love that Lydia. Oh, that's what I should put on the tattoo. No feet. <laughs> no feet. Yeah, like on the little like white part where you can actually like write stuff, but no feet. <laughs> So oh, I'm doing it. Lydia actually. I'm doing I like it. it. Lydia actually read the handbook for the recently deceased. She did. She understood it. And they were shocked that she could understand it. Yeah. Uh, so she can see them because. I myself am strange and unusual. I love, I love Winona Ryder in this. She's really good She's at this. She's good at playing anything creepy. Like, yeah. look at her in Stranger Things. Look yeah. at her in. She's not really creepy in Stranger Things. Huh? She, creepy. but she still has that horror, that dark. She plays yeah. really good, like a darker character. Yeah, her, like, Briti her British accent sucks. Yeah, but, but like anything, like oh, her Halloween Winona Ryder is the best Winona Ryder. Like anything yeah. spooky or dark. Yeah, I like. I like well. her. Uh, you know, I think she should pay for uh, stuff when she goes to stores instead of stealing it. But remember that. I do remember. Remember, that. she went on Saturday Night Live afterwards. She did, and uh, they were like, "Oh yeah, we got some security footage." And it's like Will Ferrell like hugs her in the security footage. And then when she shuts the door, he checks to make sure he still has his wallet. <laughs> that was the thing when Ona Ryder just went on a shoplifting spree randomly. Mm -hmm. I forget what the reason. She was. wanted a thrill. I, I guess yeah, so. they, she had no reason. She just did it. <laughs> the Maitlands are like really annoyed, and they decide to. To, to, to just, you know, humor Beetlejuice. So they say his name. They go into the model. They find that thing. He's so fucking extra. Like, why did he make that? It's great. And it's like all the pointing. Like, yes, he's here. <laughs> Not even this. There was a giant neon sign, too. With Yeah, the, it was like Beetle like guys. It. Beetle guys. <laughs> I like that they have to dig through the model. But there is an error here. So they're supposed to be tiny. And they're digging up, you know, the cardboard and stuff. But the font on the cardboard they're bringing up is this is in scale with them. But really, uh, it should be giant uh, letters. And then I, I, I turned the movie off, and I took the DVD out and fucking broke it. And then I went on Twitter and I said Tim Burton's a fucking hack. I didn't actually do that. Uh, like hack the movies? Yes. <laughs> so they dig him up, and we finally get like Michael Key. What the hell is he? He's dressed like a tour guide. He has a hat that just says God. What does he guide <laughs> them? Yeah. In the afterlife? Yeah. I don't know. I guess so. But I love his fucking entrance coming out and he flying. Is... You can see the. Oh, harness. I took a picture of that last night. I was like, this is perfect. I was like, this is what I'm watching. He's just. Ah. If you look, you can see the wires. Yeah. Holding it. It's like, eh, whatever. What are you gonna do? I watched this on a DVD player and then it kept messing up. Then I put it on a PlayStation. I was like, shit, I should have put this on the PlayStation the entire time. It was so much brighter. You can actually see the details. Yeah. It was been, absolutely crazy, though. Yeah, the you have the nicer one. And I have the nicer one. Yeah. I have the yeah, 20th I have um, like, anniversary deluxe edition. This is like, it doesn't the, have that much on it. This is like the first DVD uh, they made for it. Oh, we were talking before Netflix. Did we mention that? We didn't mention this. The, I know what you're going to say. The very first DVD rented through Netflix's thing was Beetlejuice. Yep. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. So he finally shows up and Michael Keaton is having a fucking ball with this role. He's basically just ad-libbing. Like, a, he, they, apparently he ad-libbed. I don't know how accurate that is, but he's just going on and apparently on. Like on. 90% of what he said was ad-libbed or yeah. something like that. Like Michael Keaton is fucking funny. He's awesome. Or he was. I don't know. He was really, really funny. I think he still is. Yeah. Uh, but no, he's like hilarious in this. And he's like, oh my God, who do I need to kill? Every line he has is fucking gold. He's, he's so perverted. He's dude. sexually harassing the shit out of Gina like, Davis. Really yeah. bad. I like that one point he's hugging Alec Baldwin and then he starts like trying to honk her. He's um, disgusting through this entire yeah. movie. And I love that he's just going back and forth with like his range with acting because they're like, what are your qualifications? He's like, oh, well, I studied Julia. He like, it's like real serious. And then it goes right back into being Beetlejuice. I've seen The Exorcist about 167 times and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it. Um, I also love the, can you be scary? And just like fucking scorpions come out of his face. It doesn't actually show his face. It's just the back of his head. And you just see yeah. his yeah, like peeking yeah. out. So he's apparently like coming on a little too strong for them. Apparently? Just yeah. a little. <laughs> apparently? <laughs> yeah. They're like, we just want to scare people. This is a little much. Uh, but they get out and that's where you get the nice. Home, home, home. <laughs> yeah. That's where you get the nice fucking model. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> 
that scene still to this day uh, has me in tears every time I watch it. <laughs> young Tony might have done the honk honk like uh, a little. Tony, little I think too. you still do the honk honk. <laughs> honk, honk. Yeah. I've never like walked around the office being like, knock on. That would be a problem if I did. at that. Yeah. I don't think I'd be here if I was. He does it every day. No, I don't. Send help. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Now I'm just going to do it all the time when I'm around. We're here against our will. It's just behind you. Oh, hey. He's got the, oh, hey, Johanna, honk, honk. <laughs> hey, Johanna, nice This is really awkward, because awkward, I saw where your desk is, and it kind of is like a dark corner, and I'm like, can you imagine just yeah. turning around seeing Tony honk, honk? Hey, Johanna, nice, uh, <laughs> nice Mothra figure that I got you. Honk, honk. <laughs> wow. <laughs> At that point, I'd probably be like, all right, definitely calling HR. Yeah. <laughs> Get uh, <from> Tony. <laughs> so I think at this point, Lydia has told the parents about the ghosts, and they don't believe her. Yep. Uh, and Delia has her high society art friends and her mm -hmm. agent show yes. up for dinner. Uh, and the house is the house looks so ridiculous. It's so bad. Also, didn't uh, Delia or not Delia? Uh, Lydia already read like the whole. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She, she read like the whole thing. thing. Like she knew about. I don't know it. if we mentioned that or not. Yep. Or she read like some of it. I don't know. I she, think she read the whole thing. Okay. She has this whole dinner situation with her uh, friends and whatnot. You know, I was very surprised she cooks. Oh yeah. I thought that like maybe well, no, no, no. She cooks, but I think she makes shit food because at one point he said in the beginning of the movie, yeah, he's like, "You finally cook a decent meal," and she's like, "Yeah, kitchen big enough." Still, I'm just like, "Wow, she's actually doing this for the dinner party. She's mm -hmm. not like ordering out or like having a caterer come or something." So she's yeah. so like, "Holy hole!" Well, they ordered out earlier. Yeah, they ordered the yeah. Chinese. I'm gonna die so from all the MSG. MSG. Yeah, I fucking <laughs> love Chinese food. That's my. There's an old Simpsons Guilty. where Marge just has like a can of MSG and she pours it into the soup. Fuck it. Don't care. Guilt, like my whole guilty pleasure, I'm upset food is wonton soup mm -hmm. and Velveeta mac and cheese. But like, uh, you can't take that stuff away from me. Not super into Velveeta. Like, I'll eat it. I'll eat but it. But the Velveeta yeah. shells? Yeah, I'll eat it, but it's not like my go to. Yeah. So. <gasps> uh, <laughs> or like me a good smoked Gouda. No. <laughs> I almost. So, Ate an entire thing of brie to the face the other day. Oh I also have, oh my gosh, we Sorry, okay. you, when we make our mold wine together, I'm gonna so you make some really good things. Ate a whole thing of cheese. I actually do that a lot. I I love cheese, chocolate, and wine, and bourbon. I wish I you literally were with do this all the time when we went to Disney, and um, it was a festival of the arts or so, something like that in Epcot. They had a bread bowl that had melty brie in it, <gasps> and I'm literally just drinking this cheese, and I'm like, "This is worth being fat it's for." So good. It's a, you can have those. That's what the picture I sent you when I said I'm doing a watching Midnight Mass. Oh, that was brie. That was oh. a, I think brie cheese and a whole bunch of other cheese, and I had my glass of wine. She had a shark coochie board. I did. <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> let this be, let this be an example of what it. He ignored me. <laughs> Ladies. <ignored> me. <laughs> Let this be an example of what happens when you don't forgive <laughs> your father. You eat an entire brick of cheese and, I think this is great. and melt it onto bread. Yeah, I don't think it has anything yeah, to do with Yeah, it has nothing to do. It's so good. It I think it might be related. Wine? I think it might be related. No. So, this dinner party. This. Yeah. This dinner party, we find out Otho was one of New York's top paranormal researchers until the bottom fell out in 1973 or whatever he says. Also, I like his weird girlfriend yeah. who's miserable being there. Like, what the She's fuck? She's weird. Yeah, and then this is how he knows that, you know, suicides are, uh, you know, civil servants. Civil servants. Uh, it's implied that she just tried to commit suicide recently. I'm like, this is a weird thing to bring up at a dinner. But the maintenance have an idea with how to scare them. Deo! Me sad day. I'm not going to do the whole thing. Uh, I used to sing the song all the time. As a kid. I used to know the it's dance. It's a great scene. I used I used to know the dance. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, the shrimp. I, I want to eat the shrimp hand. Did you guys see the YouTube video of a daughter and father recreating this no. scene? No. It is literally perfect. A dad and a daughter recreated this entire dance and scene. And they actually have it side by side. And it is awesome. Yeah. I love, so awesome. I love when Charles like because they dressed up in everything. Stereo, and then like he starts going like that. I love when Otho 
picks up and he starts banging the drum yeah. and then he's like, what's he's going like on? And then, and then he's like into it. He's like, yeah. Okay. And then he's like, wait a minute. And then he's like, oh, I'm going to go back to it. Whatever. So, so that was their thing. They have them singing the uh, Deo Tally Me Banana song. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot. Oh, we can't like play the songs. We'll get oh. fucking. <laughs> but yeah, I love the shrimp hands that come out and grab them. Like that does look kind of cool. Um, mm -hmm. You watch the the, yeah. the tick show. Mm -hmm. They had like lop, lopsed Hercules. I was kind of hoping it would have shrimp fingers, but oh, that would be cool. Um, it's, that is probably one of the most iconic scenes in the movie. Yes, which is crazy because it doesn't have Beetle Beetlejuice. You actually don't see that often in this movie. Yeah, you he's only in. Nikki looked this up. He's not in the movie that much. He's not. And I talked about it's uh, the same thing with uh, Silence of the Lambs. Anthony Hopkins won. He has the shortest amount of screen time for an Academy Award winner because he's not really in the movie that much. Same with Beetlejuice. He's mm. just like in and out of it. What Disney princess is in the least amount of the movie? Wait, what? Which Disney prince? What Disney movie has the Disney princess barely in the movie? Sleeping Beauty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that She's was an easy one. Oh, sorry. It's because I played Aurora a lot at kids' Disney at parties when I dressed oh. up as a princess. And that was my least favorite character because I hate her. Oh. Yeah. She's pathetic. Yeah, that sleepy broad needs to wake up. Yeah, uh, she's pathetic. I just have like Batman at a party once. Where did you get paid to be Batman? Yeah. And then uh, it was years ago. Who the fuck paid him to be Batman? And then this is what? What, it was That's when I was like thin. It was when I was Batman. thin. It was a long time ago. It was when I was thin. Yeah, but like you at least need some like muscle or something. You're short. Anyway. Uh, a few years ago, my um, Times Square Elmo, but Batman. A few years ago, my uh, my little cousin, my my cousin's daughter, youngest daughter, really loves gorillas. The one that I gave all the Kong stuff to. So uh, the one day I went to her house, just dressed as a gorilla, and she fucking loved it. She had a that I can see more. She had a gorilla themed birthday party, and my oh. cousin's just like, you know how hard it is to find like gorilla stuff for birthdays like gorilla <laughs> plate like it's really hard but oh like gorilla batman gorilla batman <laughs> so the the scare does not work on them no they're intrigued no if they anything the it. deets love it they're like they, they love want it. it's like an amusement ride i love i love you come down you can wear any sheets you like because we forgot yes. to mention the sheets were des 300 dollars designer sheets. delia's sheets Oh, this is better than an amusement park, and yeah, but they're the upset. Oh, was it? Uh, we could bring them to uh, wait till we bring them to all the parties around town, and yeah, yeah, and like uh, I love how uh, Delia is just pretending like she knew the whole time. She's mm -hmm. like, oh well, you know, we didn't want to let it out, uh, but Lydia can't get the ghost to come down, so her agent just leaves. Of, like, well, no, they go upstairs right after too to like bang on the door in the attic, or whatever, to be like, oh, excuse me, like you need to come down. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is yeah. when Otho grabs the book. But no, 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 no. The, oh, that's after yeah, the leave. agent yeah. leaves at, yeah, this, that's point, right, that's at right. this part. Um, Does he like call? Yeah, he calls her a flake. You've yeah. always been yeah, a flake. He mentions how he always loses money on her, and she's yeah. like, what? Because uh, her art kind of sucks. Um, I mean, I want those statues, but only because they're in I Beetlejuice. Do, if I lived in the universe of the movie, I'd be like, what the fuck is that thing? <laughs> yeah, I love when uh, Dealey goes, let us in, we'll pull you out by the ropes you hung yourself with. And yeah. Lydia's like, they didn't commit suicide. <laughs> that is a, like a, a dark joke right there. Yeah. I love all these, yeah. but as a kid for PG, that is... Yeah, Oof. but yeah, they go in. They find all the stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, they're like, "Yeah, it's the whole town here," and that's when Otho steals the book. Beetlejuice laughs at how pathetic they are. Yeah, they're just hanging out the window too. Yeah, they're, hanging they're just out the hanging window. out the window. <laughs> Would they not go to Saturn for hanging out the window? They're still like a part of the house. I guess. So. Yeah. So Beetlejuice is like, "All right, now it's my turn," mm -hmm. and he fucking turns into a giant snake that used to scare the shit out of me. I love it so much. Snake is terrifying. I love it. So the stop motion in this is really good because they're not trying to make it look super realistic. Like they don't care how cartoony it yeah. looks. And all the stop motion is phenomenal. It reminds me of like the cheesy CGI in Mars Attacks where it's like, okay, well, this is like a cartoony world. It doesn't have to look great. So it kind of works. It's, yeah, it's with uh, Pee Wee Herman mm. mixed with like with Mars Attack. It's that whole vibe. Yeah. But uh, so he attack he throws Otho down the stairs. He knocks fucking, he almost kills the cuties fan. He like picks him up and then drops him. Uh, but at one point, um, oh, I love the whole, he came for your daughter, Chuck. They have an animatronic snake face. 
And they do a close up of it of him smiling, and that used to genuinely scare the shit out of me. I'd be like, I don't, I don't like that scene. Uh, but in order to get rid of him, they say his name three times, and that sends him back to the model, I guess. Mm-hmm. He snaps right back. At yeah, the railing. <laughs> yeah, I love yeah, the that. railing. Like, uh, Lydia thinks it's them, so she like runs away upset. But then, like, fucking back at the model, he like crashed a car or something. <laughs> He's like yelling at them. I like when she picks him up and he shoots the thorns. But then a then a whore, <laughs> then a whorehouse shows up. I love the whorehouse. Dante's Inferno. Yes, the Inferno. It's a fucking whorehouse. I love it. I was like, the girl. Did you make that? Like, yeah. She's like, where no. did you put that there? He's like, I didn't make it. And it's just the girls, the dead girls hanging out. It I love that fantastic. he's dancing with the thorns still. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but apparently it was Juno who did it. It was. Oh, I love this suit so much. Same. Yes. Juno, this is one of the best scenes too. <laughs> then they get snapped to Juno's office. Yeah, yeah. Juno uh, but her brings them there. Her office is already full. Her office, her office is full hey, of the football team. Hey, couch, where's the yeah. bathroom? They keep hey, calling. Couch. So the football team has died. They haven't figured it out yet. So they keep calling her coach. Coach, coach. No, no, no. I'm not your coach. Your coach actually survived <laughs> yeah, the bus he crash. Su- he survived. <laughs> <laughs> I it's love that so they were good. in the bus in their uniforms. <laughs> they were just wearing their uniforms in the and bus. the helmets at all. Hey, coach. Um, what'd you call it? So it's Juno's so pissed because now that the house, the occupants of the house know their ghost. They know what they can do. There's photos taken. There are photos taken. The book has been taken. They're trying to bring people like they, they're like, we can't have evidence of the afterworld here or the afterlife here. Yeah. Uh, you need to fix this. And they're like, okay, we screwed up. And she's like, and then you brought Beetlejuice in? What's wrong with you? Uh, but I love that she's like, how are you going to scare them? And then like the faces they those make. Those are stretchy. classic. Those are awesome. I love those. It's like even in, yeah. It's in the on the cover and everything. Is it on this cover too? What? Um, is this one? Oh, oh yeah. Like, yeah. Alec Baldwin's head's like hanging out. The more you look at this, the more I actually find, which is like things I never realized. Like, I never realized the person hanging right there, I think. Oh, yeah. They got the flat guy. They, they got the, the football guy. Here. But he doesn't look wait, like wait, wait, flat. Wait, wait, wait. And they got I, the football team. Have you seen this? The shrunken head guy is on yeah, the front porch waving. Porch. He's like, hi. <laughs> and then the guy with the shark attack. Yeah, the shark attack's there, too. What a weird assortment of characters to put on your front cover. I love cover. it, though. I don't think I've ever looked that close at the cover of this. Um, So, yeah, they do their whole really scary monster great, face. Though. And I love that the next, like, scene. Oh, hold they're, on. They're having a heartfelt conversation in their monster race. Oh, but before the heartfelt conversation, the football players. The football player comes back. I don't think we survived that crash. How did you guess? Hey, coach. I don't think we survived that crash. What yeah, gave, thank you. Yeah, no, she goes, what gave it away? What gave it away? Also, the scene with Lydia, and she's writing a suicide, suicide note. Letter. And, and she's she like scribbling yeah. out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Lydia's writing music. a suicide note because she wants to go to the uh, afterworld. Uh, the Deets is, oh, well, not the, the Maitlands. I, I, but she has to say, she goes, I jumped. So I, I jumped. Pl- I ju- and then cross out, I plummeted. Oh. Off of the Winter <laughs> River Bridge. <laughs> um, <laughs> So yeah, yeah. So Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin, they have their scary monster faces on, and they call back. So I think this is also hinting that she can't have kids. And she's like, you know what? I kind of really like Lydia. Maybe mm-hmm. we don't have to chase him out. I kind of want to hang out with her. Yeah. Uh, because she'll one, she wasn't able to have kids. Two, she'll never have kids. Yeah, that's dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she's like, maybe we can make this work. And they still have their stupid faces on. Uh, that's my favorite part. Is that they're? It reminds me of like uh, Big Trouble in Little China. Where the whole it's like so the whole like mm-hmm. big finale, Kurt Russell has lipstick on. Yep, we're fighting the main bad guy. He just had, and they're like, "Yeah, let's just leave it." So I love that. Like this is this huge character moment. <laughs> it's <just> like, <laughs> um, so good. While this is going on, Beetlejuice, he's still at the whorehouse. <laughs> uh, he's trying to get Lydia to say his name, mm-hmm. and he can't. She t- came in to leave the um, Barbara and Adam the note. Yeah. yeah. That she's going to kill herself. <laughs> yeah. And he's just like, this is why I also think Beetle just definitely did commit suicide too, because mm. he's like, why, why do you want to come here? Well, that's like, my Harry. favorite. She's like, he's like, I need to get out. I have, <laughs> he's like, I have friends. I promise I'd be in a few things. I need to get out. She's like, I want to get in. He's just like, why? why? But then I love how he just completely goes, I know what you got your reasons. Uh, <laughs> so he can't say his name mm. for whatever reason. And I love the charades he does. <gasps> 
Oh, it's so good. Charades. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking orange beetle, beetle orange, beetle orange, beetle breakfast, beetle breakfast. <laughs> but I love the so that's the second one. But the first one, he's just like, look over there. <laughs> it's just a giant beetle going. Hey, hey how, how you doing? doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's so. Good. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Whenever I see like a random thing like in my head, I'm like, oh, hey, how you doing? It's just like, it's something that shouldn't be there. That's just like, oh, I. Um, luckily, she gets interrupted by the Maitlands who scare the shit out of her because they got scared. She was also like, at one point, she's like, mm, I don't know about this. I want to talk to Barbara. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you don't have to just say it. No, I was like, you don't have to talk to Barbara. <laughs> and then he falls and whatnot. Uh, they tell her that they want to live with the Deets. They're like, look, we'll live together uh, as long as we don't have to do like tricks. Mm -hmm. Like we want to be left alone. We're fine. But that doesn't fly because the dad flew out Max, uh, Maxi Dean. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, something like that. Uh, I love this. Uh, mm -hmm. There was a little thing here. So yep, he Maxi says Dean. he's talking about all the stuff they're going to put in the town, the paranormal museum. And he talks about a guy who made the uh, talking Marcel Marcel statue. Yep. Marcel Marceau was a famous mime that don't which don't talk. So a talking that's actually pretty fucking funny. I never got that joke. I, as a kid, I don't think any kid would. Yeah, but I love adult. Jokes. It's a very very deep joke. Um, so yeah, sh the ghost won't come out willingly. So how they gonna how, how, what are they gonna do? Exercise them. Yes, Otho has the handbook. Yep. He has also read it. Literally every fucking character in this movie has read the they're handbook. They're able to <laughs> read the ghosts. It. <laughs> yeah. Except for Barbara and Adam. Poor Barbara and Adam. So yeah, they're going to do the exorcism to try and draw out the ghosts. But they clearly don't know what they're doing. No. Um, I like when they're like, uh, again, they set it up earlier. When they're like, yeah, we need something that belongs to them. We don't have anything. And then she's like, oh, I, we do. They still have the wedding <laughs> wedding outfits. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, they found the wedding dress and the... The grooms, the tux. Yeah, Those, the tux. That's the word, the tux. Thing, with the ruffles. With yeah, the yeah. ruffles. Uh, they bring them back, but they don't realize that they're turning them into lost souls. Yeah. And they're like, I love like the dissolve <gasps> and the makeup. It's they so start to look good. like aliens. When yeah. Just hold her hand and it crumbles. And it just crumbles. She's like, oh. stop it. You're killing them. They're like, oh, no, they're already dead. Oh, and Otho, but, true, look but at like, them. and they had no idea how to stop it. They're like, and they actually look like they're concerned at some point. They're like, we don't, we don't know how to stop it. Yeah. Like, just start it. Who's the only one who can help? Beetlejuice. <laughs> yeah. So she goes to him, and he's finally wearing the striped outfit. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the first time you see? That's it? the yeah. first time he's <gasps> worn the striped outfit. And he's literally in it for like thirty seconds. Yes, he's in it here. She's like, look. Uh, so he has like the ultimatum. He will let her out. I love it. He's like, I'm kind of like an illegal alien. I have to marry someone to get back. So he wants to be in the world of living with his like powers and shit. Mm -hmm. Kind of like Freddy Krueger in Nightmare on Elm Street too. Uh, oh yeah. But he's like, he has to get married. So he's like, look, let me out. Uh, I'll save them as long as you marry me. And she's Become like, my child bride. Yeah, child bride. Yeah, it's really creepy. She's, I know the cartoon, she's like 12 years old. She's going to like a school, like she's young. She's a child. Well, she's a child. Guys, I don't know if you know this, but he's a bad guy. <laughs> Still weird and crazy. Forget about the cartoon where they're friends. That's like its own different universe. But in this movie, he's like a bad guy. All right. I don't want to say he's a bad guy. Plus, I don't think he wants to have a relationship with her. He just needs to get technically married, m much like real. But like the things yeah. that he says during it, like it's still weird. Yeah, yeah because he's creepy. a jokester and a comedic guy. <laughs> it's showtime. But it is yeah. a great scene how yeah. he comes when he well, comes she's at, he comes out of the model still wearing the striped suit. Yes. And he has the little carousel. bat ears hinting yeah. in his future. Yeah. his arms. Yeah. <laughs> he, puts the, he puts the Deans on fucking uh strong like how strong is your thing? Test your no, strength. No, it wasn't the Dean. It was um It was Maxie Dean and his wife. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the Dean. Yeah. just like, oh, "Oh, this is great." Does he great. kill them? Cuz he fucking Yeah, they go straight through the uh the ceiling. Like you yes. never see them yeah. again. And then Otho runs out. <laughs> and then he's like zaps him and turns his suit. Suit to like was it light blue or something yeah. or white? You think, Are these upset? I think that's all happens. To I him. think that is a good look, and I think Justin Silverman should get that suit. Oh I think God. so too. Who wants to see Justin Silverman in the blue suit? He is like Otho. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's make it happen. Let's I make it happen. That. Yes. You know who Otho is played by in the play? 
It's like a really oh, skinny, tiny Asian guy. My friend's the stage, <laughs> I think he's the stage manager. Oh my God, that's a Amy's very school. unique, uh, I, that's not who I would have cast. Nothing no, wrong with it. not at all. Nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it I'm at totally all. fine with it. I mean, they're trying to cast all different types of people in yeah. all different types of roles. And I don't think fat white guy should be uh, gatekeeping and only keeping those roles for themselves. Oh I think God. that everyone should play that character. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Justin's like it's, really mad. He's like, what? It's actually a really good musical. It just I came back to yeah. yeah, it's really good. Um, so yeah, Beetlejuice is like running amok. The Maitlands are bringing themselves back to life, but uh, they're trying to say his name. He's got to like... Beetle... <laughs> okay, yeah. so at this point, do you know... Who the pastor is. Not the yes. voice. Yes. The... Do you know who the pastor is? It's Tony Cox. The little guy yes. from uh, Bad, Bad Santa. Santa. Really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's one a... of his like, on his like earlier movies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's huh. not the voice. He's but not he's the voice. The, he's he the looks character. like an alien. I'm like, was that an he alien? He does look like an alien. Um, so yeah, uh, Beetlejuice yeah, just whips weird, up a right? pastor. Wow. Yeah. He, put, he puts the red dress on her. I love his hair is combed. But he's got to stop everyone from saying his name because that's like the thing that can get rid of him. Mm -hmm. I fucking, I it always like hurts to watch when he like throws the zipper, yeah, on Barb and then throws the metal. So, yeah, clicky. I don't care about the zipper. I don't think that would the metal. Really, she's but, trying the to metal rip with the off. screws. Where I'm like, ah. Ah. <laughs> and then he sends Adam into the into miniature. The yeah, and then he sends her to Saturn, which is just a thing he can do, I guess. His powers are very got, all over yeah. the place. I wonder how he got these powers. I want to see that. Also, like Adelia is stuck behind her chair. Oh, she's in her chair. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, no, no, no. I forgot, I forgot. He needs witnesses for the wedding. So <laughs> the parents get wrapped up in the in art the that she made. And it's actually, that's another callback because earlier in the film, the statue hit her yeah. when they were moving it. And she's like, I don't want to be killed by my art. And then she's like fucking kidnapped by yeah. it. Um, so yeah, the wedding's about to happen. I love when he talks for her. Yeah. I love that man of mine. <laughs> The man next to me is the one I want. You ask me, I'm answering. Yes, I love that man of mine. And then somehow- well, I am of sound mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's- I do, I do. Ooh. I love that man of mine. Um, so then somehow Barb rides the sandworm. Yeah, she does. I guess she's a fan of Dune. She rides the sandworm into the ceiling and just eats Beetlejuice. She's a beast. It just goes right through. It eats, eats him. him. Yeah. I like also how he was screaming before it was even shown. He, he probably I thought maybe he saw it. Yeah. Like the whole, no? No, because it wasn't even through the thing yet. And he goes, ah, and everybody's like, ah, and then it comes through. He probably heard it and he probably knows what it is. Oh, by the way, you forgot to mention the sandworm was like a worm within a worm. Yeah, it looks so it's bizarre. Great. They make I a, love they it. make like lawn ornaments and stuff out of that now. Spirit Halloween has Spirit, uh, so many things of it. Was it candlestick holders that I kind of? Oh, like. really? <gasps> yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't see candles. I saw the the candy bowl. They make so many things with that with mm. the worm. It's like Beetlejuice trick or treat. Uh, Nightmare Before Christmas, now Haunted Mansion stuff, uh, whatever. Haunted Mansion and Spirit Hocus Halloween. Pocus. Hocus Pocus, yeah. Those are like the main ones that are right in the front. I and I will take all of it. I gotta rewatch Hocus Pocus. I like it. It's fun. It's it doesn't have to make sense. Or, and like the story's whatever it's too. It's really but it's long. Just fun. That's mm. my only, that's one of my big issues is that it's really, I always forget how long it is, but it's really nostalgic to me. Like, no. I really love it. Uh, but it's a happy ending. I love when they like, there's just a portal to hell now. I love when the parents go to like hug them, but the little alien's still there and they're like, oh, okay, okay, okay. I also love the fireplace. How it like, yeah. turns into that uh, arch. I always The like whole, that. every time everything, something changes. Yeah. It is so cool. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so then it's this happy ending. We get to see months later or a year later. Oh. It looks like the the Maitlands Maitland Ma Maitlands. It looks like the Maitlands are able to redesign their house the way it was, so they're working together. And how do I know they're working together? Because at one point they show uh, Charles reading a new book. It's like living with, with the, the deceased yeah. from the makers. <laughs> it's like from the makers of Handbook for the Reason. And what does he say? This is like reading a, a stereo oh, like, manual. This thing reads like stereo, stereo instructions. Man. And I love like, uh, what's your faith? Delia made a Beetlejuice. <gasps> I want that so bad. Yeah. He likes it. Oh, that's <laughs> the thing. She's been doing it the whole movie. She's like, you like it. <laughs> and then you see uh, Lydia coming out of school. And she's not she's gothic happy. anymore. And she has a, I, I mean, still say she's gothic. She's just in her school uniform. Yeah. She still looks no. seems, 
But she just looks happier. Yeah. She just mm. seems happier. If I, I knew anything still. about girls who were forced to wear a uniform in school, they were always happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even that one time where they decided, oh, even though you've been wearing this for three years and this is your last year, you seniors also have to change your skirts to the shorts. Oh, the skorts. The skorts, excuse me. What the fuck was the point of a skirt? They didn't think that people would be able to roll it up as much as oh, the other you skirt. Can. Was, yeah, yeah, everybody. Oh, the you one can. girl literally, I'm talking like, this was her booty chic. It was literally right. Wait here. a minute. You cut the shorts out of yours. Yeah, right, I did. It was uncomfortable. I didn't roll it up. It's no, just, you it just was uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah, she cut the shorts and then like stitched the sides together. Good for you. No, I just cut the shorts out. I didn't do anything else. Oh, I thought like, you like. No, stitched. I literally just cut out the middle. Is it bad? Oh. I still wear skorts, but they're cute and they're comfortable. No, because that's they're actually like back in style or whatever. And I was like, all right, I can wear a skirt and then also like sit the way I feel like it. You know what pissed me off about high school? My first high school, we weren't allowed to carry book bags. What? Oh, remember they changed that the last year for uh, all the girls? They couldn't carry book bags or anything? Yeah, no, Why? my first Not high school. Not even a purse. I don't know. And for, I'm just no, like, no, no. So you can't do that. I here's what happened. My, yeah. And then have to run to my locker or whatever? Like, no. Here's what happened. Here's what happened. So my first high school, they just weren't allowed to carry book bags. It was a security thing. So I finally go to my second high school where I met Johanna. What a great decision that was. Um, Fuck that school. And then, like, yeah, a year in, there some kids decided, hey, we have uh, BB guns or airsoft guns. Let's bring it to school and show each other inside the cafeteria. So that was a problem. And then I'm like, great. Now I'm back to not having a book bag. So you had to keep going to your locker to grab it. It sucked. Anyway. That really sucked. And then we they didn't get mad at you that. for being late. And it's just like, I had to freaking switch the books. Like, I'm not yeah. carrying all these books See, around. I will never relate to any of that because I went to a Votech school for theater. We had a Wawa and a bakery, Olympic sized pool. Um, it was fuck? it was fa we literally went. We would uh, my math teacher was also like an ex stripper too, and she would just talk to us and oh, just we have conversations. Science teacher. Yeah, I'm sure we had which we this. talked about in. Oh, that's right, Ginger Snaps. Yeah, right? that episode still is up. Check that out. <laughs> but yeah, so she would. We would just you be like, name him though. Yeah, you wouldn't. So. But yeah, so we would just go to Wawa. We convinced her, but like, all right, uh, we want a Wawa trip. It's this person's birthday. We just named a different one. We so, also had block scheduling. We didn't have to take any of those crazy classes. We had two hours of uh, theater. We did a lot of meditation and napping, and it was great. Well, that's a nice trip down memory lane. Can I talk about the end of the movie now? Sure. So she does, she gets good grades, and she's like, you guys promised. And I don't think they knew how to end the movie. <gasps> but it's so good. So they're like, all right. So her reward is she gets to levitate. Yeah, levitate. she gets to sing like uh, shake, 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 Sonora while levitating, and everyone's having fun and singing and dancing. We get we get to see Beetlejuice. He's back in the waiting room. I thought he would become a lost soul or something. I also like how the he was no, an he exercise. Got, yeah, yeah. He just got eight. Yeah. Um, I also like how it goes to the waiting room, and it's still playing. Like, yeah, it's like elevator. It's music. still playing the elevator. But uh, he steals the witch doctor's uh, ticket. number ticket mm -hmm. and he, his head shrinks and it's an awful green screen effect. Yeah. It's kind of a bad effect to end the movie on. Hey, you're messing up here. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. Stop it. Whoa. <laughs> I love he's it's like, so funny. I love he's like, yeah, I got a photo shoot with uh, GQ. And then he's like, this might be a good look for me. <laughs> but then it cuts back. So it's already insane. Girls flying and dancing. Everyone's dancing. There's telekinesis going on. Beetlejuice's head's getting shrunk. And then the football players just show up. Yeah. yeah. On the staircase. Yeah. Just, just to dancing. dance along with her. And I that's how it. the fucking movie it's ends. Great. Like, what is this? It's awesome. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> so that was Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Fucking love this movie. It's it's really it's so, classic it's so and amazing. Much fun. It's, it's amazing. so much fun. I really want to revisit the cartoon. Now, do you know about the uh, sequel they tried to do? No. Uh, if you ever watch A Night with Kevin Smith, the thing he did in like the early 2000s or late 90s where he talked about his career up until that point, uh, he was offered two movies by Warner Brothers. One of them was the Superman Lives, whatever the failed Superman project was. And the other one was Beetlejuice uh, Goes Hawaiian. <sighs> I did hear about that. That was going to be their sequel. And Kevin Smith is quoted. He's like, I think we said all we need to say in the first Beetlejuice movie. Must we go tropical? 
So Whatever. that was, I'm shocked they didn't make a sequel out of this. I mean, it could have been like another like Jack Frost 2. Oh, it would have been great. Jack Frost, uh, yeah. Yeah, so this movie did have imitators. It did. Fuck Drop Dead Fred. That movie fucking sucks. I hate that movie. I don't hate it. That movie sucks, and it's trying so hard to be Beetlejuice. To the point, uh, if you look at some of the deleted scenes for Drop Dead Fred, they use Beetlejuice as temp track music. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, there was, they even cut out more stuff out of Drop Dead Fred because it was getting a little too much like Beetlejuice. I oh. hate that fucking movie. Um, but no, I really, really love this. Michael Keaton's great in it. Uh, it's just a solid film all around. Someone told me, so last night I literally walked into a thrift store and I found this. And I was like, oh my God, that's crazy. Um, the guy told me though, he goes, this is Michael Keaton's best movie that he was ever in. Do you guys agree with that? And I was thinking, I was like, he's great. Best movie. Then I started trying to think everything else he was in. And I was like, maybe. I haven't seen all his movies. I don't, I haven't either. People but. really like, uh, what was that recent one? Bird something. Birdman was really Bird good. Birdman was really good. Really so, good. But I don't know. It's hard to compare. Cause like he also plays like completely different characters. Yeah. This is so really unique. Birdman's really good. Um, I remember early on in his career, because remember there was the controversy with him being cast as Batman. They're like, he's a funny guy, but he was in a movie called Clean and Sober where he plays a recovering addict. And apparently that was really good. He I really love fucking, uh, what's what's the movie where he's pimp, where he's a pimp? Um, Which one? Oh, it's like one of his famous early movies. Fuck, what's it called? Oh. Cut to the picture of whatever the movie was where Michael, Ke uh, Michael Keaton was a pimp with the guy. No, hold on. Hold on. No, it's going to really bother me. Uh, my back. I'm sorry. He's really great in Night Shift, where he's a pimp. <gasps> That's, yeah. <laughs> where he has the prostitution and he breaks the word down. He's like, pros, because you're professionals. And tit, well, that one speaks for itself. <laughs> that one's really good. Yeah, so I have to like look through the list of his movies and see which one is the best. Like I said, The Founder was really good. But this is probably my favorite. Because yeah. I, I like Batman and Batman Returns, but they're not, the scripts are kind of weak for those. Yeah. Uh, but this is just. This is more classic. This is. Yes. A whole nother level of. It's fun. Amazing. It's wacky. Uh, fucking anyone. Like I, years ago, I showed uh, my little cousin this movie and she like loved it. Like this is a good movie for kids. I know someone the, that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know they someone... play it on like, you know, family channels and they cut out like some of the yeah. more launchy parts, but it's a good time. So a friend of mine was pregnant and her, the entire nursery was all Beetlejuice theme. Like Beetlejuice, like the baby clothing and everything. Oh my God. Yeah. It's a weird I, nursery. I think it was so cool. A little baby doll, Beetlejuice. I was like, that's the coolest nursery so, I've ever seen. Should they make a sequel to this? Because they've no. talked about it no. in recent no. years. No, Absolutely not. no. What no. was that thing Natasha Leone did where she was Beetlejuice? Was that a funny or die thing? There was a the thing where Natasha Leone was dressed Oh, no, but Beetlejuice. I love her, but now I need to find it. Yeah, um, I don't want another Beetlejuice. No, no. One and done. Yeah. One yeah. and done. Obviously, they're still making merch from it. They're still milking it. It's yes. fine. Yes. I mean, yeah, it's all over Spirit Halloween. Like, it's check out the classic. Check out the cartoon. Don't check out the video game. It's bad. Uh, but check out Polter Guy, the video game on Sega Genesis. It's like what the Beetlejuice game should have been. Uh, and yeah, that is it from us. One of my favorite movies. And that was Hack the Movies. So uh, this is Talking About Tapes. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Make sure to sign up for the Patreon for all the bonus videos. Yeah. You broads doing some bonus stuff? Hope so. Hope so. I hope so, too. Going to get drunk and make mold wine, hopefully. Yeah. What's mold wine? Never had mold wine before. It's is actually it, really good. Is it like toilet wine in prison? Yeah, it's toilet wine. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. So they're going to prison, and they will be making <laughs> toilet wine, and they will it's teach you they how. You, Tony. That's that's. We're gonna the, go to prison and have just all the lesbian sex because apparently that's all that happens there. Just like in that's Orange what is I, a new black. I watched yeah. a couple seasons of Orange is the New Black. I don't know how the show ended. Mm, I watched the think first two seasons and I stopped. I got up to like the riot season. Yeah, it gets bad. Oh. Yeah. I mean, it's already getting bad at that point, whatever. Just the writing and it's just all over the place. And I had some friends in that show. <laughs> um, yeah, so check out our Patreon. Uh, stay tuned if you're listening for the voicemail segment. Everyone's favorite segment. Hmm. Woo! Such a good segment. Johanna's, the, the, the height of Johanna's week, the highlight of Johanna's week. Always. Is when she gets to come down and do the voicemail segment yep. and hear all your lovely 
lovely voices. It doesn't drive me insane at all. Yeah. You hear that in your sleep? <laughs> Crystal, you, your mom called the voicemail line. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was a great reconciliation. <laughs> anyway, that is it from us. Goodbye. Bye. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talk, talking, talking about tapes.